Welcome back. Today uh, I'm going to be continuing from our Authority of the Believers uh, Discipleship class uh, by Paul Janadu. Uh, we're actually going to be studying um, the topic today is uh, the devil's smoke screens. So let's get started. Firstly, he puts up a smoke screen by pretending he is not active in a particular situation. Trying to convince us it's all natural or circumstantial. People give all sorts of names to problems which are really the work of devils and should be seen as having spiritual roots and dealt with accordingly. Again, I'm going to say that again. People give all sorts of names to problems which are really the work of devils and should be seen as having spiritual roots and dealt with accordingly. However, if you walk in the flesh, in the natural, and not in the spirit, Satan can hide in people, in circumstances, in diseases, etc. Then everything under the sun can get the blame for his works. Secondly, by bluffing his way through ignorance of God's word, he tells people, even through some preachers, that the authority over demons is no longer available to us today, or at best that it is the reserve solely for a few giants of faith. His master's stroke is to cause a smoke screen. When Christians command devils to leave a person or a place or a situation, they sometimes go quietly and will not manifest. This gives the impression they are not the ones responsible for the mayhem and distress. The one praying may come to the conclusion that either he was mistaken in his diagnosis or perhaps they were present and had not run away. God is a good God and the devil is a bad devil. More often than not, the devil is the one behind all bad things. A Christian who knows how to deal with them will not give up until good times return. Life sometimes can be like the cat and mouse game Pharaoh was playing with Moses. He would give some concessions to allow the Israelites to leave Egypt and then renege or say they should go without their cattle or without their children. However, Moses did not settle for anything less than total evacuation. Use your authority to get total victory over every area of your life. Again, use your authority to get total victory over every area of your life. Nothing should be under demonic control. Not your health, your business, your family, or your ministry. Nothing. 